Uh, assuming that you place all the tapes on here properly for your cello using the don't fret or the pinstripe tapes, then we can move on to page six on the fingerings. Step one, you gotta make a C shape or a hamburger shape, meaning that thumb is kind of somewhere between the fingers below and there's some space here, like you hold a sandwich or a hamburger and they make a nice curved and relaxed shape. Also note that your wrist is nice and straight and your forearm will be nice and relaxed when your wrist comes to play on the fingerboard. You don't want it to be backwards this way or hunched over this way. Nice and straight always is the best way to play. And again, make sure that your fingers are nice and curved. Don't have them out like this and try to make a puppet face. Nice and curved, like holding a Coke can or a hamburger. Now let's try placing them on the instrument. Let's first start by placing our left hand thumb behind the neck between the first and second tapes. Pointing the thumb to your head and making sure that it's parallel to the ground. Next we want to focus on making sure that your elbow is not too high or too low and making sure that your shoulder is nice and relaxed and creating a nice straight wrist down to your forearm. Now we're going to curve our fingers down into the fingerboard, making sure they make contact with the fingertips. And then we're going to start with the first finger on the first tape, second finger between the two tapes, third finger on the second tape, and the fourth finger on the fourth tape. Again, using our fingertips, touching the strings and pushing them down, in this case on the D string. Make a, again, don't place your elbows too low or too high. Make a nice straight forearm from wrist to elbow.